the folks at Tyrite sent me a few of their tools to check out on my fishing trip to the mountains of North Carolina this year. They make two different kinds. They're not sponsoring this video, but they did give me free product. They make the junior and the senior. And you use the junior for the smaller flies like I would use here on the West Fork of the Pigeon. So let's see how this thing works. So basically the tool has a little clip where you can strap it onto your vest. And what happens is you push on the bottom and this little hook comes out. You use that hook to grab your fly. So the first thing you can use this thing for is to pick up a fly out of your fly box without touching the hackle. So why is it important to be able to grab the fly right out of the box? Well, two reasons. You don't actually touch the fly, potentially transferring your human sweat and scent to the fly, and you also protect the hackle from being crushed as you manipulate it. Now, when it's in this position, I can move it around to however I want to be able to put my tippet through. So let's do that right now. So the next thing you'll use this for is to thread your tippet. Now you need to look at my other video on the easy way to thread tippet without glasses, but in short, you lay the tippet against the eye of the hook and you slowly draw it back until it pops in the hole and then you push it through. Don't need cheaters or anything. So hold it like this, spin the tie right tool around a couple times. A lot easier to spin something big like this than a, a little tiny fly. And then take the top of your tippet and run it right back through the loop created here at the eye of the hook. Grab it, tighten it down, and now you've got a nice clinch knot. And with the tie right tool, you can pull it and test the knot to make sure it's good. Again, all without touching the fly and transferring scent to the fly. So, I kind of like this scent. What do you think? Have you used one of these things before? If so, what's your perspective? Throw it in the comments below. Thanks.